Okay, so I'm going to try to start the dinghy. The trick is, I think, that I um, need to pull the choke all the way out and then maybe turn this. Oh, no, choke it. Huh? Not all the way. Every outboard is different. You've just got to learn how to handle the outboard. So this is Iguana Beach. And uh, we don't see any iguanas right now, but we see little tracks. Are they in the water? Are they swimming in the water maybe? Ooh. You're pulling me. Yeah. Such a princess. I don't see any iguanas. There here is. they come. <laughs> thinking we have food. We don't have food. Oh, here they no, come. No, don't come. <laughs> they can be aggressive is what they said in the book. Oh man, those guys are the guys that haven't been fed. They're like really hungry. What are you doing? Oh no, that's like a whole shell. Oh, that's Maybe like a dead. Empty. Yeah, that's like a dead one. Check out this whole water. It's like a little private beach. Another one. This water is insane. What do you think? I think if we ate conch, this would be the place to be. <laughs> For sure. Conk Paradise. The conk Paradise. The conks have been probably left alone pretty much. What about the Bahamas? It's terrible, don't come. Yeah. <laughs> Three words to describe the Bahamas. Uh, relaxing. Warm, finally. And relaxing. Now you have to pick another one. Um, peaceful. It's like the best spot to row. I figured it out. Because otherwise you have to go from one side to the other. Well, I still have to do one side to the other, but I have like a perfect view and the boat stays straight. So this is kind of interesting. Because the wind has shifted south, we're not yet rotated, but this boat, so basically where I'm pointing the camera, is southwest. We were all pointing in that direction. We're pretty much at slack tide. Now the wind has shifted south in that direction. We are expecting the wind to rotate to west and then to north and then northeast and tomorrow to east but I think well this guy is just flying in the middle of the channel of course so pardon my French but that was a shit show um, in Norman's key what happens is the current fights the wind and all the boats move differently and basically all night we were on anchor watch checking to make sure not so much the anchor but just we got really close to the boats and um, so anyway it's kind of interesting to be inside a cut with a channel with the current playing a role and the wind playing a role and then having all the boats having their own dance with this variable. 
So this boat next to us, there is nobody on board, but it's basically sailing. <laughs> and it's like in totally opposite direction of us. We're both at anchor and we're pointing 180 degrees from that boat. So they are sailing and eventually they're going to come to a stop, rotate, because they just did this. Meanwhile, we're in shallow waters. Holly is on depth watch <laughs> because she is nervous. So now this boat is pointing at us and moving. It's a very interesting dance. Everybody's going through with the reverse of the current and the fight with the wind. Again, I can't say enough how much I love this rangefinder. Um, I wish it had a little light on the inside so at night I could see the distance. I had to kind of do some tricky bits with it, but um, these these uh, rangefinders, or I don't know what you call them, but you see how far things are, super helpful. Uh, the other thing we did is we have a anchor buoy, and there's mixed emotions about the anchor buoys. Um, in the case of last night, it was extremely useful because we always knew where our anchor was, and uh, the other boats didn't know where they were. And at one point, the boats were Fight, because they were fighting the current and the wind, they were kind of spinning over the front of their anchor, not kind of the way, you know, you normally have an anchor where it's spread out in front of you. They were kind of backed up that way. So um, it was really helpful. Uh, I could also see the downsides, but for last night's situation, it was definitely good. Uh, well, yesterday was was fine but too close for comfort because those lagoons stay away from those small lagoons like 38 or 40 feet they were just sailing at anchor and I think the tricky part was we had the southwest wind and the current opposite each other so then the boats didn't know what to do our boat was fairly stable and they had too much anchor chain out and this guy had like 120 feet or so 40 meters of anchor chain in, in, in channel like in, in how many meters like one or two meters probably anchored in no more than two meters of water so it's like you know this this is not reasonable for other boats around because you know you're going to be turning around with the current and we just needed to get out of here it's unfortunate but um, the wind is going to veer west east sorry not east east uh, where the entrance um, of the channel is and then the current's going, we're going to find ourselves in the same situation later tonight where the current and the wind are going to be slightly, I uh, mean, going to be And I absolutely degree. do not want to do that again. Like, that was, I, I, that was too stressful for me. Like, yeah. you, were, you were calm as a cucumber, but... So anyway, happy to get out of here. Uh, unfortunate we didn't get to really enjoy Norman Ski. Maybe we'll come back. We are in Shroud Key, and it's part of the Exuma's Natural Reserve. It has a bunch of mangroves and cool places to visit. They do charge, I think it's 50 cents per foot per day to stay in the area, but it is beautiful, it's protected, and uh, we're really looking forward to enjoying this area.
hier die Schuhe. Das ist die zweite Kette, wo jetzt die Kamin. and trying to find the view. What do you think, Skipper? Mm, just so glad uh, we can sell a queen pretty close. Like 50, 52, 29 gold. And fairly flat water, 9, 10 knots. I'm wondering if this is the Bay of Pigs. Is that where the pigs are? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. This is Stefan before. Before meaning before he had two arms. devising their their evil plot Daniel Key and there's a spot called Big Majors and Big Majors Beach I guess is called Pig Beach where all the pigs are and um, it's the original pigs from the Bahamas uh, though we hear they're pretty aggressive and they bite people's butts so we're not sure we want to actually do that we're gonna take the dinghy and we're gonna drive around the other side and um, we're gonna check things out we're going to circumnavigate <laughs> the island. This is the dinghy dock. Dinghy beach. Dinghy 
Harbor. Mm-hmm. Pig Beach and it's honestly a little bit nasty because there's like floating poo in the water and these pigs are huge like when you see them on Instagram or or YouTube or whatever there's these cute little piglets they're not cute little piglets they're huge sows so wow, they're swimming far and they're out. swimming really far out They're coming to us. We have no food. Well, we do have food. Oh, we do. <laughs> <laughs> we just bought some food. We bought snacks. But we bought we bought a bag of chips for five dollars and fifty cents. So, yeah, from the store here. Well, we heard too. They'll take a chunk of your butt. They can be pretty aggressive if you come with food or no food. So, no one tries to go on the beach. And they say they come to your dinghy and they can take uh, also bite your dinghy and puncture it. So we'll stay at a safe distance. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Time to leave. The smell too.